In this session, I'm going to show you how to do the surrounding buildings in 3D mapping. So first, we turn off all the irrelevant layer. Um, it's always a good practice to group all the AutoCAD information at the beginning. So these lines won't interfere with the lines we draw in SketchUp later. So we need to draw the base of that block then we're using push and pull and we pull it up we always can accurately key in the distance we want in SketchUp please pay attention to the text box at the lower right bottom of your screen so it's three thousand so we key in accurately three thousand then when we click enter so this becomes a three thousand this is a one floor so and then by triple click it we select all the related surface however these elements didn't interfere with the AutoCAD base information is because we already group them into another group so now we are going to give it some material so for massing it's always good to give some uh, translucent finish so then we now group it we can also make component so at the, this moment we just group group it so we group it it's become one element so to add it a grouped element you just need to double click then you can only add it this group itself so by click outside you exit from that group and then using move and copy tool you control you press control which means you're going to copy this element okay so this is a uh, two storage residential buildings so now we're going to do one by one build messing model for these guys so we are going to push 3000 and then we triple click give them a touch in and then you, you may want to show different color so we give them a colors facing or more colors translucent let's say we're using blue okay then we triple click then we group them then we copy them this may be three story so you copy one up however if you want to more you don't need to do it repeat repeatedly you don't need to repeat this process you just need to key in three x and SketchUp will do the same thing for you it's like an array in AutoCAD okay that's basically how to do the individual now I'm going to show you how to do some uh, roof on these messy models okay so to do a pitch roof it's quite it's not so complex so it's let's say we want a pitch roof on top of this one and then we click here we draw this line up pay attention to the color of the line if the line comes blue which means we are currently draw along the blue axis so by pressing shift you're going to lock your pen onto this blue axis which is a z axis at the moment and then you can type in let's say 
one half meter or maybe two less maybe say three meter okay now you draw the roof like this so you link these two together you can see the face are automatically linked together and then you can click delete the middle one all you need to do you pick this surface and then you copy to the other side and then using line to connect these two points and the roofs comes out so we give them a, a nice color let's say uh, warm dark red okay then we also give them a no we want this color okay so give them this color and you can erase these lines to make it look more professional a little bit professional building designer mm. okay 